Hello everyone, Fred here with Card Dealer Pro, and in this video we're going to show you how to upload the front and back images of your cards to a batch to be processed, automatically documented, and then help you list them quicker for sale. Now we do support uploading both the front and the back image, or front only. If you're interested in our front only image upload, please check out the separate tutorial for front only. So to begin, we're going to navigate from our dashboard over to our batches page. We're going to create a new batch for our demonstration and I'm going to title this front and back images. Now I'm going to skip the batch settings for the sake of time. If you're interested in learning about the batch settings and batch defaults, we do have a how-to guide on that as well and I strongly encourage you to check that out because that can save you a lot of time. I'm going to go ahead and click create. We now have an empty batch with zero cards in it that's been added to our batch page. To upload cards to that batch, we're going to click on the batch and then we're going to navigate over to the Add Cards button in the upper right corner. When we click on that, we're given two options. We can manually search to bring cards in with stock photos from the database, or we can upload card images. So I'm going to click on Upload Card Images, and again, we get two choices, front and back images, or front images only. This video, we're going to show you front and back images. So we click on this option. We're now brought to the Upload Cards dialog. From here, we can click in the middle to open up our file chooser where we could select our card images, or a little trick that I like to do that saves some time is you can actually drag and drop an entire folder of images into the center and let it go, and it'll load all of the card images that are in that folder into the upload screen. Now that we have those loaded in, we're gonna click upload, and these card images are being sent from our computer to the Card Dealer Pro uh, Cloud to be documented. So we can see it's processing, we'll get occasional updates to let you know how many are complete and how many are left to go. But when the processing is done, another little tip, we send you an email to let you know when it's complete. This is particularly helpful if you upload hundreds or even thousands of cards at a time so you don't have to sit and wait for this to get done. We give it a couple more seconds, this should update and tell us that we're complete. We're about halfway there now. Now we can see all six have been matched. So we're going to go ahead click on this batch to see those cards. We could see the front and back images that we uploaded. We could see that they were all documented. This is what we call gallery view. From here, we can click on an individual card to see the details of that card. We can edit all of the details one by one. Um, we can see the grading information if that card happened to be graded. Or back at the batch details page, we can switch up here to spreadsheet view, which would show us all of the details for all of those cards. And if we click on any of these cards, We'll actually load them up over here on the right. It shows us the recent transaction data of sales on eBay. We can click on the images to zoom in and out, etc. And we can click anywhere we want in the spreadsheet to edit this information as well if anything needed to be changed. Once the information looks correct, we could move on to exporting the batch and listing those cards for sale, um, downloading them to our computer, doing whatever else it was that we wanted to do now that we had all of our cards properly documented. So one thing I did want to touch on before we end this video is how you save the images and the file names to your computer helps us to process those properly on our end. So if we look at the folder that contained all of those images, as you can see when we're looking at the cards, we see the front image first and the back image second, front image first, back image second, etc. Now the vast majority of all autofeed scanners will properly save your files into a folder in this manner. Um, the way that they're sorted is typically by the file name. You can verify this by right-clicking inside the folder, going to sort by and making sure it's done by name and ascending. That'll sort them in the proper order based off of the file name that they come off of the scan. So as long as they look properly in the folder to you, they should upload properly uh, when you send them up to Card Dealer Pro. So again, you need the front first and the back second. If the back is first and the front is second, we unfortunately will might mismatch those. So just double check your files before you upload them. If they look good here, they should upload fine. The last thing I would say is we have tons of other how-to videos and guides. Please check those out. We run through virtually everything you can do in the system. And as we add new features, um, we create these videos and how-to guides for you as well. If you can't get questions to your answers through the support page, please check out the support link in this bottom right corner. Click on that, fill out your information, and that will get you in touch with us. We're always happy to jump on a call, a webinar, a demo, whatever we need to do to help you out. So thanks for taking the time to 
watch how we upload front and back images. If there's any other features that you'd like to see us build into the product, please reach out at that same support link. So again, thank you for your time and happy collecting.